So Julian has some comments that he would like to read at this time or share. Welcome, everybody. Appreciate your being here. I'm talking to Kit. Darling, in the month of March, in the year 1948, a rare stroke of serendipity brought us together. And you were wearing a red sweater. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were beautiful, the bachelor's dream girl. And I was smitten. Just five months later, in August, on August 24th, 1948, we were joined in holy matrimony. We are as much in love today as we were when we were first married. How lucky can you be? I think it's enough love. Thank you. And now he's going to press his luck. When we were smooching last Sunday, I said, if there's a little bit of heaven here on earth, this is it. <laughs> and we, we sealed it with a kiss. We do a lot of that. <laughs> then, on Monday, just the day before yesterday, we were sitting in this beautiful room, the solarium, enjoying the blue sky and fluffy clouds. Kit loves to gaze into the sky and, and admires the clouds, so she opens my eyes to these wonderful things. And we were enjoying each other, and you said to me, I love you, and then added, I don't know what it is, but it's there. I don't know what it is, but it's there. This philosophical it goes all the way back to Adam and Eve when my alter ego, yes, Mark Twain, but this, this it, this it in Eve's diary as follows. This is Eve quoting Eve. This kind of love is not a product of reasoning and statistics. It just comes. No one knows whence and cannot explain itself and doesn't need to. <laughs> now, my darling, we are ready. We're responding to your many, many, many suggestions when we never were together. You would look at me and say, I've got a good idea. Let's get married. Well, I'm, I'm ready, are you? <laughs> Want to get married? No arguments. <laughs> well, this is it. Ooh, your hands are cold. <laughs> They'll warm up later. <laughs> TMI, Charlie. <laughs> 